Hello, and welcome to this guide on how to make your own rose petal wrap. This has been provided by canagarshells.com. Some of the things you'll be needing are rose petals, CBD oil, 180 proof alcohol, parchment paper, napkins, a small paintbrush, and a large book. Now, let's get started with the rose petals. This part is the most important. They cannot contain any pesticides. So, once you've found some pesticide-free rose petals, let's start by removing the uh, buds to make them a little bit easier to work on. And then we're going to start removing these outer petals. These have been damaged by the environment. They have cracks or wrinkles. Uh, we want to make sure that the petals we use are entirely blemish free. So once you've gotten down to the perfect petals, you're going to start removing them and placing them all one direction up. It's very important we keep them pointing in the same direction because the inside of the rose petal is hydrophobic and so it perspires water differently. And so to make sure that we get an even uh, dry on the petals as they're cured, they need to be facing the same direction. So once we've got them all stacked up, you can go ahead and get your parchment paper and your book and napkins ready, and we will begin pressing. So first thing, you put down the napkins on the bottom and the top layer, and then you put parchment paper in the middle and on top of the parchment paper will go the rose petals. Note that they are still all faced in the same direction. Now, when you close the book, you want to make sure that you're not creating any wrinkles. Um, wrinkles created in the petal now will turn into bruises that will create dark spots or black spots. And so you just want to be very ginger. Um, go ahead and put a couple books on top of this and let it sit overnight. You want 24 hours. Um, you might be able to get away with 12 hours if you have a lot of weight. So this is after 24 hours in the book. You can see they're slightly darker. And when you pick them up and feel them, they have lost a lot of their rigidity. So they just kind of, uh, you, you can move them around and they're kind of like slinkies. That's perfect. You want them to loosen up. That's the first day of the curing process. <coughs> now, when you put them back in, make sure you use fresh paper towels. This is day two and let's see what these petals look like. They should be a little bit darker. Yep. So that's perfect. As they darken, that means the water is coming out of the tips. If they get too dark on the tips, we can always trim it down. So don't worry about that. But you can tell by the texture on day two that they are almost ready to roll with. And now day three, they are noticeably darker and we'll start trimming these, but they are ready to roll with. And if you smell them, they still have a good smell of rose. That's why you dry slowly. That's something we do at Canagar Shells uh, with our commercial products and our retail products is everything's dried incredibly slowly. We learned this from the cannabis industry. Um, when you have a plant and you, or a flower, and you want to preserve the terpenes inside of it, the most important thing is to preserve the original water content that was, that had those terpenes suspended in it. We don't add any artificial uh, terpenes. So this solution you see here is the CBD oil mixed with Everclear. It's really easy to do. All you do is take a pinch of your uh, preferred cannabis oil, CBD, THC, whatever your preference is, and add a little bit of uh, Everclear. That's a 180 proof food grade alcohol. Um, you could get away with a little bit less, maybe 150 proof, but you really don't want to add much water back into this. Now, um, you might be worried about adding alcohol to something you're going to smoke, but this is going to be dried for a whole day. And so you don't need to worry about it. All that alcohol is going to evaporate. And if you use a flavorless alcohol, you're going to have uh, nothing left over but the oil you added. And we'll actually take a look at that in a moment here uh, after this has been assembled and then dried. Now it's important you don't have anything else in your parchment paper as you're pressing this final wrap. Um, you could have two full wraps in there, but uh, any other petals are just gonna add moisture. And now this is me preparing the press for 24 hours, um, but I actually added one extra step here. Um, you're gonna see, I'm gonna open this book right back up after a quick press. 
and then I'm going to patch any uh, around the seams. The seams are where it's really important to get a lot of that oil. Um, roses don't naturally have any sticky properties, so you got to make sure you get a lot of oil on there. And now this is after 24 hours in the press. I made an extra one, uh, just wanted to have two for the examples here, and you can immediately see that CBD oil along the seams. That's really going to hold it together. You could put a lot of pressure on this thing, and you can still roll with it. Um, now this larger one, you can actually make them as large as you like. They're pretty, pretty cool when you make the wraps this way. Uh, when you do roll with them, I recommend putting a line of the CBD oil on the end that's going to be rolled up. That way it has something to stick to. Um, but if you want to make it even easier, we've been making these rose petal pre-roll cones for about four years now. Uh, they're 109 millimeters, so it's that classic king size, and they come pre-rolled into a cone, so loading them is super, super easy. They also fit loading machines, um, so if you have a commercial enterprise and you're looking to put them in a future roller, they work for that as well. But our retail three-packs are only $7.49, so check us out on canagarshells.com.